The Needle in the Haystack One day, Honeycomb, Peachy and Bowtie were making their way home to Dream Castle through the feather fields, which were on the edge of Farmer Barleycorn's land. No wonder Tickle spends so much of her time here, giggled Bowtie. The grass tickles you as you walk along, just like a feather. Pony feather, stop it, grass! Ha! <laughs> ha! But the feathery grass kept on tickling the little ponies, and they laughed and laughed as they walked along. As they came out to the next field, large haystacks were drying out in the sun. Peachy said, Listen, someone's crying. It's little Bella Barleycorn, said Honeycomb. What's wrong, Bella? Can we help? No one can help me, sobbed Bella. I want to marry Seamus the shepherd. Happy hooves, we all like Seamus. He often plays duets on his pipes with Medley, interrupted Peachy happily. Can we come to your wedding? There won't be a wedding unless Father changes his mind, cried Bella. He wants me to marry Farmer Dumpling, whose land adjoins our fields. But he's old and as fat as... A dumpling, cried all the little ponies together. Seamus is handsome and good and clever, said Bella. His pipes can call back the sheep no matter how far away they have strayed. But Seamus is poor and Farmer Dumpling is rich, said Bowtie, beginning to understand. Yes, agreed Bella, nodding her head. But Father says I can still marry Seamus if he can find a needle which I am to hide in that haystack over there. But it's an impossible task. See, here they come now. Don't despair, Bella, cried Bowtie. Quickly, give me the needle before your father gets here. It's a darning needle with the largest hole I can find, said Bella as she gave it to Bowtie. But I'm sure that Seamus will never be able to find it. Pony feathers, he will now. Here, hide it quickly, chuckled Bowtie and she handed back the needle to Bella, with a long, narrow red ribbon flowing out of the eye of the needle. "'Oh, Bowtie, what a clever idea!' cried Bella as she thrust the needle deep into the hay, burying it completely out of sight, just as her father and Seamus arrived. "'Find the needle, Seamus, and my daughter shall be yours,' laughed the farmer merrily. "'Good luck, Seamus!' cried the little ponies. Seamus started to look through the hay, and a moment later he spied the long thread of red ribbon. He pulled it out, and at the end was the needle. Farmer Barleycorn looked very cross as the young shepherd handed him the needle. "'You never said that the needle was not to be threaded, father,' said Bella. "'No, I didn't,' admitted the farmer, his face breaking into a smile. Very well, you and Seamus shall be married, and I will build you a little cottage in Feather Fields. Oh, thank you, cried Bella, hugging her father. And thank you, Bowtie, for helping Seamus to find my needle in the haystack. It was clever of you to think of it. Bowtie was clever, wasn't she?